Ugh, ads are such poop. Subscribe to ACAST Plus now to skip ads and more for just $1 a month. Click the link in our show notes to learn how. And hey, we're on Patreon too. Your support helps cover the cost of running a podcast. For $2 a month, you can get early access to all our episodes ad-free, plus bonus episodes exclusive to Patreon subscribers only. Visit patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse to sign up now. Black voices are making an impact this month and beyond. Keep listening to discover one of our favorite shows, courtesy of ACAST Recommends. Dig deeper with me, Sean T, as I bring you a new episode every week to help motivate you to uncover your potential, master your mind, and build the confidence you need to live the best life possible. On Trust and Believe, I'll talk with you one-on-one or bring you a dynamic interview to help you find mental strength and positivity to better your health relationships, parenting, career, and day-to-day life. No topic is off limits. No question is unanswered. It's the raw, real, tough talk that will jumpstart you into the new you. Tune in to Trust and Believe with Sean T. every Wednesday to feel empowered and help you achieve your best life possible. Acast helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. Acast.com. Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys. We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you know what we're doing today? We're doing a new fucking book. We sure as fuck are. Which book was it again? Esther. 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 Got it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to start Esther chapter one. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and do that. I'm very excited. Me too. Okay. Okay, Esther, chapter one. Okay. I think this is going to be good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to have some story. All right. Because look at, this is the first sentence. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. This is what happened during the time of Xerxes. The Xerxes who ruled over 127 provinces stretching from India to Kush. Ah, cool. Right? That's yeah. a great start. Yeah. Like, that. that is a good the story. story. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm in. Right, so far. Yeah. At that time, King Xerxes reigned from his royal throne in the citadel of Susa. And in the third year of his reign, he gave a banquet for all his nobles and officials. Okay. As you do. You right. Banquets. Yeah, banquets. Right. The military leaders of Persia and Medea, the princes and the nobles of the provinces were present. But okay. not the princesses. Right. And not the noblesses. <laughs> nope. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. And noblesse? Maybe. I, I just, I I've never, I, maybe I've never, just never heard it said. Maybe Duchess and Duke? Who knows? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. For a full 180 days, he displayed the vast wealth of his kingdom, again, as you do. Right. And the splendor and glory of his majesty. The splendor and glory. Both. Yes. You could do one or the other. This guy chose to do both. Both of them. He was yeah. going all out. Right. For 180 yeah. days. For a hundred, damn. Yeah, that's what I said. One hundred and eighty days like he displayed half a year. this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. When these days were over, the king gave a banquet lasting seven days. Another banquet. So that banquet ended, and then he was like, "Not nah, just kidding." And there, here's another one. Yeah. He gave another one lasting seven days in the enclosed garden of the king's palace for all the people. From the least to the greatest who were in the citadel of Susa. Well, that was nice. How do they all fit in his garden? I have no clue. Like, I'm picturing like this little quad. Maybe it was like a buffet. They they hosted them there, but then they had to go back out and eat somewhere else. Okay, well, you are clearly picturing a bigger park than I am. <laughs> so, whatever. The garden had hangings of white and blue linen. 
fastened with cords of white linen and purple material oh. to silver rings on marble pillars. The one was linen, but the other one was just material. Yes. Okay. But listen, this is so descriptive. Like, yeah, it is. It's kind of nice. I right. hope that we don't get into measurements. I'm enjoying <laughs> this. Like, That's what I was this is about weird. to say myself. I'm like, God, please don't start telling us exactly how this right? was made. Because so far it's like, okay, we've got a story. We, we've we got some banquets happening. Yeah. He's describing the setting. So That's, we know. Good. Yeah. It's okay. Good stuff. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just like, it's been so long. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. I have to enjoy this moment. Right. Be, be present. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There were couches of gold and silver on a mosaic pavement of porphyry. Man, this is like like word gold. You I don't know, like, know this what is like porphyry poetic. is. I know. I'm going to look up porphyry. Right, yeah. But yes, this is very poetic. I'm enjoying this. Right. Okay. Um, on a mosaic pavement of porphyry, marble, mother of pearl, and other costly stones. Costly. Costly. That's important. Yeah. You got to have the costly nice shit. Nice shit. Right. Yeah. Wine was served in goblets of gold. Goblets. of Man. Right? Golden goblets? Right? Damn. Each one different from the other. You know why? Because he went to like, I don't know, like Burger King when they given out glasses and you can't ever get the full set. Right. Remember yeah. when they used to give out yeah, glasses? Yeah, you only get the mix mash of whatever. Yeah. You're like, Damn it. I didn't get the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Like, did you ever get those when you were a I kid? I mean, I think it was McDonald's shit. Was it like, McDonald's? I'm, I don't know. Well, I, I do remember like we had like Garfield glasses and stuff. Yes, I have the Garfield ones. Right? They were nice glasses, like not plastic. Right. They were glasses. I don't know if you know this, but those were supposed to get returned because there was a recall on them. Are you serious? Yeah, for lead. <gasps> Oh, my God. Okay, well, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> we kept ours. We thought maybe it would have some value later. Right. I mean, but, I know. bet they, there were peanuts ones. Yeah. One point. Right. There were. I wonder if those had a recall on I, them. I don't know. Mm, interesting stuff. Okay, sorry. Goblets of gold, each one different from the other. And the royal wine was abundant. Abundant. In keeping with the king's liberality. Wow, okay. What the fuck? Fuck. This is this is an interesting. This is Esther. This is a new writer. This has got to be. A, this is a got to be a new writer. This is different. Right. Esther wrote this shit. Right. Yeah. Esther was a poet. <laughs> By the king's command, each guest was allowed to drink with no restrictions. Mm, well, that's nice. For free, the king, free refills, huh? Mm-hmm, yeah. Open bar. Right. For the king instructed all the wine stewards to serve each man what he wished. King, Queen Vashti. Vashti, huh? Queen Vashti. Queen Vashti, I like that. Also gave a banquet for the women in the royal well, palace that was of nice. King Xerxes. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm loving this. This is <laughs> awesome. Okay, so Queen, what's her name? Vashti. 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 Queen Vashti. Yeah. Okay. On the seventh day, When King Xerxes was in high spirits from wine. I bet he was. (laughs) (laughs) He commanded the seven eunuchs who served him, Mehuman, Biztha, Harbana, Bigtha, Abagtha, Zether, and Carcass. Okay. To bring Uh, him. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Somebody pointed out on our Patreon that they Mm -hmm. think that eunuchs actually... So we said cut their thing off or whatever. But mm. no, it's just like they, they don't have their nuts. Oh, they cut their nuts off. Right. They cut their nuts off. So they still got their dicks. Right. Yeah. Just not their balls. No, no balls. So they don't have dick and balls. Right. Okay. Apologies yeah. Yeah. to the eunuchs. So whatever. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't know. I'm not a big. I didn't, I didn't study up on eunuchs. So no, I apologize. No, nor I. Nor right. I. So apologies. Okay. Okay. So anyway, um, he had those seven eunuchs. That I just named to bring before him Queen Vashti wearing her royal crown in order to display her beauty to the people and nobles, for she was lovely to look at. <laughs> she was lovely. I mean, if the king's gonna have all this other great stuff, he's gotta have a lovely queen, right? Of course. Yeah. What's a that trophy own, that, wife? That tracks. What's a trophy wife if you ain't gonna show that bitch off? Right, yeah. But when the attendants delivered the king's command, <gasps> Queen Vashti refused to come. Oh. Damn. Man. Then the king became furious and burned with anger. Probably because he was drunk. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Since it was customary for the king to consult experts in matters of law and justice, 
he spoke with the wise men who understood the times and were closest to the king. Okay. Karshina, Shether, Edmatha, Tarshish, Miris, Mersena, and Memukin, the seven nobles of Persia and Medea, who had special access to the king and were highest in the kingdom. Okay. He's okay. talking to them about his wife, He's like, his queen, not coming, my, right? My bitch didn't come. Right. What the fuck? I said, bitch, make me sandwich. And she was like, <laughs> nah, nah. What, what should I do? Should I smack her? Should I throw her off the bridge? What do I do with this bitch right, over here? Right, right. Instead of just asking her, you know, clearly this yeah, happened a few days what, later. What's going on? Hey, honey, are you mad? Right. Like, why didn't you come into the Can park? we talk about this? You yeah. know, like, what's going on? And then, and then, so, okay, you be the king and be like, Ugh. Oh, you want me to be a be blustery the, king? Yeah, be the king and ask him, babe, what's wrong? What What's going on, babe? Oh, well... Um, I don't like being a trophy, and I didn't appreciate that you sent your eunuch. But I'm me. I'm the king. I know, but it's just I'm the queen. I said come here. I just didn't want to, though. But you're supposed to come here. But I was in the middle of a sentence, and and I don't care. You're supposed. To, I'm I'm drunk, and then, you gotta come here. But I don't want to come here. But you're coming. You got. I'm done talking. I didn't. I, did I'm gonna I talk to my guys? You go talk to your guys then, because I'm, I'm going to talk to my guys. Just because you call doesn't mean I come. That's the way that goes. Psst, whatever. Okay, I love you. Do you want a beer? I'll bring you a beer. Yeah. Did you need a sandwich? Yeah. I'll make you a fucking sandwich. All right. But listen, when I'm with my girls. I'm still talking to my guys. Okay, you talk to your guys. Whatever. But when I'm with my girls, mm -hmm. leave me alone. Okay? I'm glad we had this little <laughs> chat. That, that's all they had to do is communicate. Yeah, communication, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. According to law, he blustered. I added the he blustered yeah. part. According to law, what must be done to Queen Vashti? Yeah, what, what must, must be done? Be done to her. Right. Not about her. Not how do I handle with, the situation? What must be done to her? So what when I, I say said, to her? when I said, do I smack her? Do I throw her off a bridge? That was exactly the right question. Right. Right. She has not obeyed the command of King Xerxes that the eunuchs have taken to her. Mm. God damn it! Right. <laughs> Then Memukin replied in the presence of the king and the nobles, um, Queen Vashti has done wrong, not only against the king, but also against all the nobles and the peoples of all the provinces of, Queen Xerxes, of King Xerxes. That's a rough... What? That's, yeah. That's Damn. like That's like um, when I was a kid and I would go into the kitchen at home and I would eat some chips, but I didn't ask first, so I was a disrespectful thief. Right. Like, whoa, that escalated quickly. I just wanted some fucking chips. Like, I fear where this is heading. Yeah. And but yeah. but you would think that if the punishment was so great, which it sounds like it might be, right, that the queen would have like she must really either be really angry or doesn't know the law. One of the two. This can't be the first time, like, just all of a sudden out of the blue, she's like, you know what? Right? No, fuck this guy. Right. Yeah. I'm not showing up. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that this is the first time this has happened, and he's just like, right. what do I do? Maybe, maybe... Um, maybe this was, like, the hundredth time this happened, and he's like, I'm over this bitch. Maybe he slept with a porn star, and she went on mm. TV talking about the incident. Like Stormy Daniels? Out, you know, I mean, I'm just saying. Similarly? Maybe that right, yeah. Okay. And so she was just pissed off, you know? Okay, I'm just okay. Saying. That could be. Right. She could be pulling a Melania, like, where she would pull her hand away right? from him. Yeah. Like, I don't want to hold your hand. Yeah. That was always funny. <laughs> I loved those pictures. I right? love those little yeah. films. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. For the queen's conduct will become known to all the women. And so they will despise their husbands and say, <laughs> King Xerxes commanded Queen Vashti to be brought before him, but she would not come. Oh, so this has to do with the, those women. They, they ain't gonna, They're going to get uppity. They don't have no rights. They're, yeah. No, they can't. She's going to make them be you uppity. you control your women. Yeah. You know? if, if even one... Guess the idea that she's an equal, it, the whole society falls apart. Right, yeah. We've got a good How thing going here. That? They make us sandwiches. Right. This very day, the Persian and Median women of the nobility who have heard about the queen's conduct will respond to all the king's nobles in the same way. Because that's the way women work. I don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how that works either. Right? And, mm -mm. and maybe, like... Was this done with malice or just like, hey, I'm busy. Like, like, I'm not coming, you know? You know what? I like this story less because I need to know context. Right, yeah. I need to. 
Like, was she a bitch or did she have reason? Right. Was he like an asshole and always like, get over here? Or like, you know. I mean, she he... had her own bank when she was running, you right? know? So like, maybe she was busy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She was like, I'm with my girls. Right. Stop. There will be no end of disrespect and discord. No end. Therefore, if it pleases the king, let him issue a royal decree and let it be written in the laws of Persia and Medea, which cannot be repealed, that Vashti is never again to enter the presence of King Xerxes. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, is that a bad thing? Well, yeah. Is Come it? on. Well, yeah. You're you're being she's still banished the queen. essentially. She's still the queen. She just got to stay she? over there. Oh, oh, okay. Well, she's still the queen. I guess. Oh that's not shit! That. <laughs> nope, never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say. He continues. Also, let the king give her royal position to someone else who is better than she. Give her position. That sounds like a real polite way of saying murder her, marry another woman. I mean. Push her off the bridge, get a new queen wife. All right, all right. But the, I know that queens and kings were, like, oftentimes, like, arranged marriages and stuff like that. Uh-huh. But don't you just at least try to have some sort of a cordial relationship with that person? That's what I would think, but I have a brain. There's that. And There's these that. people back then... They didn't have those? They didn't have brains. Oh. See, I mean, evolution is a thing. It is a thing, yeah. <laughs> then, he continued, when the king's edict is proclaimed throughout all his vast realm, all the women will respect their husbands from the least to the greatest. Because, again, that's how that works. Because they're scared. <laughs> not because they actually respect them. Oh, this book is dumb. Jesus Christ. What a bunch oh, of shit. The king and his nobles were pleased with this advice. So the king did as Mamukin proposed. Okay. He sent dispatches to all parts of the kingdom, to each province in its own script, and to each people in their own language, proclaiming that every man should be ruler over his own household using his native tongue. The end. Got it. Okay. Is this it, where the mans get the whole we rule the household stuff? And I don't women? think so because this isn't even biblically related, really. This is Xerxes right. from Persia. Mm-hmm. This isn't even the Israelites. Right. So right. what the fuck is, is this even? I don't know. Why does it matter? That's a good question. I mean, I, I don't understand... Why we care about Xerxes and his fucking queen? Here's it was a good, it was a good ish story as far right. as like stories go. Right. Like you know, there is substance to it, right? And we're not just counting fucking people the whole time. Okay, here's my question. So those estras that I was talking about, yeah. last time, right? We don't get to read all of those, even though they star Ezra and Israelite. Okay, right. we don't get to read those because they're not in our fucking Bible. But we get Bible. to hear about a Persian. But we get to hear about this Persian king and how he didn't like his wife. Right? What the fuck? Yeah, that's really weird. Like, the things that they chose to keep in versus toss. Maybe this will make more sense in the next chapter. Maybe, maybe it will. Maybe this is like a contrast and compare type scenario. Okay. Where, okay. like, maybe the Israelites are going to handle this better. Maybe they're or... going to be like, whoa, we are so cool because we don't have, like, the whole men rule their household. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh my kidding. They're going to be so excited about this. Right, yeah. Goddamn men do rule this household. <laughs> <laughs> Made me a sandwich. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't oh. Christianity that started the whole, you know, thing. It was, it was a Persian. It was a Persian. Nice. Mm. Okay. Fuck you, Persia. Oh, Persia. God damn it. Oh, Persia. All right. Well, that was uh, what's this, these chapters called? Esther. <laughs> Esther. Es- es- Esther. That was Esther chapter one. Do you think by the time we're done with Esther, you'll have her name right? I hope so. Okay. Is it her? It, Esther is a woman. Yes. I I didn't know. You've I never just... heard the name Esther. I didn't know. Th- but look, there are there's... actually people alive today named Esther. Right, but that doesn't mean that the connotation back then was a woman's name. It could have changed. Their... David is still David. Michael is yeah, still... Yeah, but not Whoa, all... no, Michael's not always Michael. Not You're right. all names right. have kept the same You're right. gender. You're right. My bad. So, just you saying. Are, you are absolutely 100% right. I should not have assumed gender. Okay. I apologize. We'll have to look that up, I guess. I imagine that when we meet Esther, we'll figure it out. Question if we mark? meet Esther, this might just be... I mean, I'm sure we'll meet Esther. But... It's the book of Esther. Right, right, right. Surely Esther's in the book of Esther. You would think. You would think. It, 
Oh, now I'm like full of doubt. <laughs> Only one way to find out, and that's to go through, right? Yep. Yep. So yep. this was Esther chapter one. It sure as fuck was. And tomorrow we'll be back with Esther chapter two. All right, guys. We'll see you then. Yep. Bye. Hey, wife, I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Black voices are making an impact this month and beyond. Keep listening to discover one of our favorite shows, courtesy of ACAST Recommends. Dig deeper with me, Sean T, as I bring you a new episode every week to help motivate you to uncover your potential, master your mind, and build the confidence you need to live the best life possible. On Trust and Believe, I'll talk with you one-on-one or bring you a dynamic interview to help you find mental strength and positivity to better your health relationships, parenting, career, and day-to-day life. No topic is off limits. No question is unanswered. It's the raw, real, tough talk that will jumpstart you into the new you. Tune in to Trust and Believe with Sean T. every Wednesday to feel empowered and help you achieve your best life possible. Acast helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. Acast.com.